Today we're going to talk about why anchor text links are really important in blog posts for great SEO. And then we're also going to show an example of exactly how to put them into a blog post. So first, it helps to understand that Google's algorithm is largely based on looking at and evaluating hyperlinks around the web. Although a lot of that is links from web one website to another website, it's also important to have a really great anchor text link optimization structure on your own website. Great place to do that is on all of your new blog posts. In every blog post, try to include one to two anchor text links to the most closely related page. Now, let's talk about what anchor text links are. Anchor text links are links on your blog post within the content where certain words will link to another page of your website. So, right now, we're looking at CaseyDemchak.com, a copywriter, consultant, an author, and speaker. So if we scroll down, we're looking at a blog post of Casey's from September, and we're going to go look at some opportunities that we took advantage of to add anchor text links to help send the right signals to Google of what the corresponding pages are all about. So first, you can look and see right here, there's hyperlinks where if you click on this text or if you click on this text, you'll end up on a page of Casey's website. So if you click on B2B Medical Marketing, you're going to go to Casey's Medical Industry Marketing Copyright page. So we're going to go back to the blog post, and what we're doing here is we're sending Google a signal that says, hey Google, this, this uh, B2B Medical Marketing right here, click on this, and the link, the corresponding page, has to do with B2B medical marketing. So that sends the right signals to help improve the keyword ranking for B2B medical marketing for this specific page to pull up higher in Google search results. The next example is right here. You can see we've made marketing content for authors, speakers, and coaches into an anchor text link. When you click on this link, it goes to a page on Casey's website that talks about marketing materials for authors and coaches. So it's a very similar concept. We're telling Google, hey Google, this page right here about authors and coaches, it has to do with marketing content for authors, speakers, and coaches. Through that hyperlink, we're sending Google that message. So, when you're writing your blog posts, it's a great way to put fresh new content on your website that sends new signals that are correct to Google to help optimize the static pages and marketing pages of your site. We just did it twice in one blog post here, and in doing so, we didn't have to change any of the existing copy. We just looked for the best opportunity to use a blog post that was already written before we published it to add in the best post or the best anchor text links that would send the right signals to Google. So now that we have an understanding of why we need to focus on anchor text links, we're going to go take a look at how to put them in. So we're going to go to a post here that we can edit and we're going to look for a great opportunity to add in a new anchor text link that will help with Casey's SEO. And if you look right here, we actually have one pretty handy. Write promotional content for a book or information product. So Casey, part of his business, is writing for authors. And he's writing marketing or promotional content. So this entire section right here within WordPress would be a great place to make an anchor text link over to his authors and coaches page where he talks about that promotional material that he writes. 
In order to make that into an anchor text link, now that we've found the best place, we're going to highlight that text, and then within WordPress, there's a little button that says Insert Edit Link. I'm going to go to that. Now, if you're linking to something in a WordPress site that already exists, you can go to this link to existing content section. It's beneficial because you, if you ever change your URL for that page, WordPress will automatically update it if you use this method. And we're going to look for the correct link. And we have it right here, Authors and Coaches. Click on that, Add Link, and now it's turned into a hyperlink. If you want to check it out before you publish it, you can hit Preview Changes. And we can see that now it's an anchor text link. Now if you want to take that optimization one step further, you can actually do a little bit more in your hyperlink. So now that we already have it, we can go edit the link. And you can modify the title. Now the title appears on any hyperlink when your mouse hovers over it. See how that little pop-up came to authors and coaches when I hovered over the link? So we can customize that using the most helpful text for the reader to understand where they're clicking to, combined with the best keywords for SEO. In this case, we would probably change it to something like writing for, or maybe marketing copy for authors and coaches. And that does a combination of tells the reader where they're going and also includes important keywords that could be searched to help that subsequent page pull up higher for optimization. So let's take a look one more time. And just to review, we want to use these links as opportunities to send the right signal to Google using fresh content with these new blog posts about what the linked to page is all about. That helps you use blog posts to optimize your static and marketing pages of your website. You only want to do this once or twice per blog post. You can, use your, you can use your discretion. And if the content doesn't really match what you're thinking about linking to, just don't do it. If you can't find anything, you can just skip that one. That's okay. Not every single blog post has to have an anchor text link. The other thing to think about is whenever possible, you want to try and put your anchor text link higher up in the post. It doesn't mean that there's a hard and fast rule that it has to go at the top or has to go above halfway. Just do your best. You always want to make relevancy your first priority and making sure that it's still a positive user experience and makes sense to link to that page for a potential website visitor reading your blog post. Try to stay away from this very bottom section here. Think about it just as you do when you're reading. Google can sometimes get distracted just like we do when we don't always make it through a blog post. So we might start at the top and start reading, but we may not always make it through through the entire post. So Google's the same way. It's not always going to crawl the entire page from top to bottom. So just try to stick those anchor text links wherever they make sense nearer to the top of your post. And that's it. Hope this helps you make your blog post more well optimized.